Shigure, Yuki, Kyo, Momiji, Hatori, Kagura, Hasuhara, Ayame, Ritsu, Kisa, Hiro, Rin, Kureno. These are all of the Zodiac members of Fruits Basket possessed by an animal spirit. But what if they weren't? Today, I am here to reassign animal spirits to non-Zodiac characters, mostly based on the real historical descriptions of the 13 Zodiac animals. On occasions, I will reference the character's commonalities with the actual host of the animal spirits, but since the Zodiac's personalities aren't exactly accurate to their respective animals, I will not do this every time. With that being said, let us begin. First to the banquet is the rat, which I chose Saki Hanajima to be possessed by. Rats are deemed to be cunning, being the one that hitched a ride on the ox to get to the banquet the fastest. In this regard, although Hana is not book smart whatsoever, she has shown her wit on numerous occasions. Whether it's feigning illness to avoid running the school marathon, or using a plate of Cinderella-ish to have an all-you-can-eat buffet, Hana is certainly crafty. As well, rats are deemed special in the world of Fruits Basket and Hana definitely fits that bill. With the power of ways which can do anything from reading someone's mood to remotely killing them, Hana is one of the most abnormal characters in the series, even more than the actual Zodiacs who can transform into animals. Some of the less than positive traits of rats is their timid and monotonous nature, which again, I think fits Hana's personality, seeing how she used to be afraid of her own powers and she never seems to get too excited. Next, we have the rat's personal Uber driver, also known as the Ox, who I have chosen Makoto Take to host the spirit. The Ox is described as hardworking, honest, and reliable. They make perfect leaders even though they don't desire fame or attention, opting to stay low key. Now, some casual viewers may forget who the fuck Makoto is, and if you did, Makoto was the former student council president preceding Yuki. For starters, being in a position of student council president is telling enough. In that role, you must have some sort of leadership and be extremely hardworking, unless you're a Yame. Makoto is a righteous dude who tried his best to maintain order in a school, like challenging Momiji and Hasahara because of them opposing standard dress code. Lastly, Makoto's reliability can be proven by his decision making, being the one who handpicked Yuki, Kakeru, and Machi to be in the student council, which may have appeared to be a disaster initially, but eventually worked out for the better. Third in line, we have the tiger, represented by our favorite Yankee, Erisa Utani. As tigers are painted as powerful creatures, they are known for bravery as well as benevolence. With Utani being a former game member and having the nerve to lead the game, knowing the consequence could possibly be death, her courage cannot be questioned. Additionally, even though Utani doesn't immediately come to mind when you think of kind fruits basket characters, she certainly is among them. Utani is one of the best friends you can ask for, protecting Toru from any and everyone she perceives as threats and being the one who initially befriended the class weirdo Hana. Other traits tied to the Tiger Zodiac is the tendency to be brash and hot tempered, two characteristics that link to Utani. Much like Kyo, Utani is a do first think later type of person and is easily excitable which can be seen in the fight she picks. Hopping their way to number 4, we have the rabbit, home to the main heroine of the series, Toru Honda. This zodiac animal is mentioned to be extremely polite and sensitive. When it comes to Toru, her selflessness is known to all, in fact, she is nice to a fault. If you need an example of this, just go back to Momiji who ironically is possessed by the rabbit spirit talking about a story titled, The Most Idiotic Traveler in the World. In this story, a traveling girl is taken advantage of time and time again as she gives up anything that is asked of her which leads to her tragic ending. This of course parallels to Toru who is too charitable at times as Hiro once exposed in his introduction. The downside of the rabbit zodiac is that they are not built for arguments which we can see in Toru as she can be driven to tears quite easily. However, rabbit sensitivity is not indicative of their will as they are thought to have hidden strength and perseverance. 
For my final point, I have often pointed out that Momiji and Toru radiate the same energy, as I think Momiji is a German gender bent Toru. Probably the most revered creature in Chinese history, we have the dragon paired with Kakeru Manabe. The dragon's key positive traits are leadership, charisma, luck, and an abundance of energy. With Kakeru being chosen as vice president, his leadership like Yuki is a given. Though Kakeru may appear irresponsible at times, he is a good second in command and even guides Yuki whenever he struggles in his duties. Kakeru's charisma and energy goes hand in hand as what makes him charming in my opinion is his wild and adventurous personality. Kakeru brings a playful air to the student council, brightening up any room he steps into, and when partnered up with his chaos sister Kimi, his liveliness is even more apparent. As for a negative trait, the dragon zodiac is self-centered. Looking at Kakeru, I'd agree that he is self-centered, not to say that he is a selfish jerk, but at times, he does have fun at others' expense. As even Yuki once said, Kakeru is the same breed as a Yame. And I think this goes to the fact that those two are very social, but lose awareness in their surroundings and seem inconsiderate to others. Funny enough, Kakeru was very fond of Ayame in their first interaction. Slithering at 6, we are joined by the Snake Zodiac, reassigned to great teacher Mayuko Shiraki. Contrary to popular belief, snakes aren't all bad, at least according to Chinese history, as they are a symbol of wisdom. And with Mayuko's profession as a high school teacher, her mental sharpness is pretty much verified. Now, as everyone knows, snakes are also linked to being suspicious and shady. This sentiment is not totally accurate to Mayuko, but in the case of Kana and Hattori and their relationship, it has some relevance. Although Mayuko never made a move on Hattori while he and Kana were together, she fell in love with him unbeknownst to Kana. This led to Mayuko quietly and secretly becoming a little more distant from those two, of course because she didn't want to betray her friend. Also, it's sorta of ironic that Mayuko was chosen to be the snake zodiac since the real snake Ayame has a flirtatious relationship with Shigure who also dated Mayuko for a brief period of time. Moving along, previously held by Rin, we have the Horse Zodiac, now belonging to Naohito Sagaraki. Though I haven't seen that much of Nao, he struck me as a very feisty character. Nao is a versatile foolery and is incredibly self-reliant, taking his duties as secretary seriously and being the one to try to maintain order. The weakness of the Horse Zodiac is that they are too outspoken, to the dismay of others, and they are impatient. In my opinion, this perfectly describes Nao, shown in his interactions with the student council. Nao is often scrambling to keep the duo of Kimi and Kakeru in check, and in doing this, unintentionally adds on to the mayhem with his short temper. Also with Machi, Nao doesn't make any attempts at sympathizing with her when she appears to be aloof. His no-nonsense attitude prevents him from doing so. Next at number 8, The Sheep is Among Us, matched with everyone's favorite she show, Kazuma Soma. Sheeps are thought to be gentle, low key, and kind hearted. Kazuma exemplifies all three of those attributes, which we can see in how he deals with Kyo. Kazuma stepping up and being a father to Kyo in of itself is enough to understand his character, but we can also take a look at his parental approach. Kazuma is typically hands off with Kyo, he allows him to find himself rather than being strict. Kazuma also keeps a low profile as he never tries to be the center of attention despite being involved with the Zodiacs having taught Kyo, Yuki, Kagura, and Haru. The negative quality of the Sheep Zodiac is that they tend to be indecisive. I don't think indecisive is a word I would use to describe Kazuma, but I guess a moment of indecision I could point to from him is his hesitation to fully embrace Kyo as his son. After Kyo started acting out at school in an attempt to distance his behavior from the reputation of Kazuma, Kazuma struggled with how close he would be with Kyo due to his misunderstanding. 
However, when it comes to Kazuma, the sheep mentality admittedly is far from the mark. Swinging from the great vines, the monkey makes his appearance, coupled with the female half of the chaos duo, Kimi Toto. The monkey is associated with intelligence and best of all, mischief. Kimi may put up a cute act, but that's what it is, an act, because she is a certified troll. The Yuki fan club probably has nightmares about her because they have been victims to Kimi's playfulness, having to witness Kimi close the gap on the distance between herself and Yuki almost effortlessly, which they could only dream of. Kimi hasn't displayed any scholar smarts, but she is emotionally intelligent, knowing exactly what buttons to press to get a reaction out of people. As I already alluded to, the weakness of the monkey is that their pranks and play can be to the detriment of others, as well, they tend to be stubborn. Kimi doesn't show this side of her personality that often since she is usually in troll mode, but her unwavering desire to have the color pink is an instance that highlights her stubbornness. Early to rise but late in line, we have the Rooster Zodiac accompanied by a character with no name except the alias I gave her, Mama Yuki. The Roosters are straightforward and practical. It may be hard to look at Mama Yuki in any positive light, but she is pretty blunt about her thoughts on Yuki and Ayame. She sees them less as sons and more as pawns and is not afraid to say as much. The negative traits of the rooster are their arrogance and materialistic nature. Mama Yuki is someone who thinks she is always in the right and leaves no room for discussion and changing her mind. Mama Yuki also likes to live a lavish life as she pretty much sold her son Yuki to Akito to keep her expensive lifestyle afloat. Unleashed at number 11, we are letting the dolls out with Motoko Minagawa leading the charge. Dolls are known for their loyalty, attentiveness, and honesty. Motoko is the president of the Yuki fan club, so she has undying loyalty to Yuki unlike any other. It's a borderline obsession to be real. On the same subject, Motoko was the one to notice the change in Yuki post Toru, something that the other girls of the Yuki fan club still haven't picked up on. Honesty is a weird one because Motoko can be devious in her plans to separate Yuki from any other girl, but she is upfront both in her distaste for Toru and in her love for Yuki. The downside of the doll zodiac is that they are irritable and anxious. Proven by Motoko being prone to being triggered by Kimi's antics and her insecurity around other girls that come in contact with Yuki. <laughs> Second to last, we have the pig Zodiac who spears lays doormat in the body of Misuru, aka Michan. The pig is described as good manner and positive. Mitsuru certainly has her flaws, but under normal circumstances, she is polite and well-tempered. However, with being Shigure's editor, there comes a lot of grief, which gives us a different perspective on Mitsuru. The negative qualities of the Pit Zodiac are their hot-headedness and gullibility. Shigure often plays tricks on Mitsuru, which she falls for damn near every time. This drives her to suicidal attempts, but other times she lashes out at Shigure, so she can be a bit unruly. Last to the banquet is the cat, which is the excluded zodiac, thus has no description. However, I think the person most suited to be possessed by the cat spirit is none other than the best anime mother in the world, Kyoko Honda. Looking at the other two hosts of the cat spirit, Kyo and Kazuma's grandfather, one of the key characteristics of the cat zodiac is having red hair, which Kyoko sports well. Another trait associated with the cat zodiac is the one possessed being outcast. Although we all love Kyoko, she wasn't exactly someone that was looked at fondly by society. Kyoko was known as the Crimson Butterfly. Living her days as a renowned gang leader, Kyoko was feared by her enemies, revered by aspiring gang members, but hated by regular citizens as gang leaders aren't well liked. 
Plus, I am 100% positive if Kyoko were alive and did possess the Cat Zodiac, Akito would love to lock her up forever. It's a Cat Zodiac tradition. That folks brings this video to a close. Based on the descriptions I gave for each Zodiac, let me know which characters you believe fits the best. But guys, that is it for me. I'm Satsuki the Savage. Like, comment, subscribe. I am out. Chasing your soul, you're not in control, just giving you gold. Scared of your past, the future is closed. The start is the end, the end is a the start. They both are the same, can't tell them apart. Nigga, that's cuz. The intro is the outro. That folks brings this.